channel, twitch.tv slash Spike Vegeta, and all being organized by my favorite person in the world, Nuclear. She's done a wonderful job assembling an amazing cast of characters, amazing speedrunners, amazing gamers, generous people who are willing to give us our, their time so we can support JDRF. Uh, an amazing charity organization. In day one alone, we already raised over $4,000, $4,111, I believe 90 cents. Let me see if I got that number right. 411190, that's right. But gamers, we are merely 41-ish percent, 41.119 percent towards our ultimate goal. We would love to reach $10,000 today. And we've got some incentives for y'all that we'll get into here in just a little bit. But get those donations in. We're going to be talking about some incentives. Let's go ahead and kick it over to the first run of the day. We've got my good friend, Andy. He's going to be playing LTDP. How you doing, buddy? I am doing great. Yay. I'm so excited for this game to just say no to me over and over again. Right. I was like, here's the great thing. We could be here a long time. Uh, cause, uh, you know, you got like, you're actually running hundred percent NMG, which I know you talked about you, uh, you, you PB'd in this recently. So you decided to show it off. Uh, yeah. Uh, hold on. Let me, let me pull up this fancy, uh, website called speedrun.com. Um, my PB from this to the day was, uh, October 30th, 2016. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, you know, we've, we've been PBing all over the place in this category. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This man is literally the definition of on fire. This man's cooking. Hey, he's ready to show you a new one. Do you, what percentage chance would you get yourself that you could PB today? Oh, um, let's see, like, let's say 20%. Okay. Yeah. That's what I was, Cause like, obviously well, you're uh... be a little generous with the, with the percentage. Uh, -huh. uh -huh. everybody loves hundred percent because, uh, there's three ginormous sections of RNG right <laughs> in the middle of the run. Not early. Right. Not late. <laughs> right you can't early. knock them out early because they're all in the dark world, right? 60 minutes. Yeah. Which is great. Everybody loves that. So, gamers, we're going to go ahead and get this first one started here. T1 dot done. Again, Andy's going to be taking out 100% no major glitches. I do want to remind everyone that, once again, the beans, they are back. That's right. For a minimum of a $25 donation, Andy will subject himself. I'm, like, basically out of beans. Y'all maybe eat all of them yesterday. But Andy's got a box. Kelsey's got a box later. These two were dumb enough to say, sure, I'll do it. So if, <laughs> for a minimum of a $25 donation, Andy will spin the wheel and take one of the beans out of the box and put them in his mouth. We'll see if they stay in there longer than Boyd's was for uh, the one he shot out in like a second. Oh, I should maybe, hold on. Let me bring my trash can over here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. Guys. And again, uh, guys, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, 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 I'll put that one here out in a going. second after we get Andy going. All right, but I am uh, I am good to go whenever you guys are. Yeah. Then, uh, uh, yeah. Apparently, then, Tech uh, is working yeah. on my microphone volume for. Um. Am I am I still am I am I still quiet, you guys? Yeah, Chad, give give us the lowdown. Does Andy sound all smexy like? Yo, yo, I can, I can hear, yo, Andy. I can hear oh. Andy. Let's go. All right. Anyways, all right. Um, Anyways, oh, all right. um, let's do it. I'll let's count do it. I'll count us down. Uh, three, uh, three two, two, one, one go. Woo! Good luck. Have fun, buddy oh, boy. No. Oh no, let's but go, echo. Let's go, dude. Oh, but there is an echo. Oh, but there is an echo. We can really, we can really hear. Really hear. hear. Okay. Yeah. Well, Waltek's taking well, care, of, that, I'm taking care of that. I'm assuming that's just on Andy's mic. Like, I will go ahead and plug while we're, while we're waking up. We're about to start, going, start going towards the escape sequence uh, here. That also, we have, uh, that also uh, we have got uh, incentives. Biscuit uh, going every thousand dollars today on our journey to ten thousand dollars. And for the first one here at five thousand dollars, my wife was nice. My wife was nice enough to drive home this morning, so she could give me a bottle of pomegranate. Granite juice. Yesterday, yesterday, I had nine, I had nine different, nine red, different beans red beans out of the bean. They are a 
they are a, supposedly a 50 50 chance whether they, whether they taste like pomegranate or an old bandage, an old bandage. first of all old bandages, all, are, old bandages are, are nasty as it turns out and of the and nine, of the nine all i ate nine of all nine of them i think were old bandages so if you can get me to five thousand dollars my head goes bad as well okay we'll have we'll have we'll have tech working on that um, if we reach, then I will, try, reach, to then I will try to quiet down. So maybe it doesn't jarring, sound as I jarring. Know. I guess I don't know. If we are able to reach if five thousand dollar dues, total for the event, we're already at four one 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 and ninety cents. Then I will then drink I that will bottle of pomegranate, bottle of pomegranate to know what just feels like what it feels like. Again. To be loved again, because <laughs> man, man, old bandages messed me so up. Get those donations so get those donations in, guys. Twenty-five dollars a piece as well to get Andy to have to eat and beans. And even like hey, the ones, the $5 like the ones in the five dollar donations we always talk about, those make a big difference. You can get those those uh, five and ten dollar hype train Let's stuff going. Gamers. Let's make it happen, gamers. Ooh. All for an amazing Ooh. cause in JDR. Andy. How's the Andy, escape going? How's the escape going? Uh, I almost, uh, I almost escape opened up the map chest. Uh, yeah, I was wondering. Uh, if it was real close. <laughs> uh, escape's going pretty well. Uh, escape's going pretty well. Uh, there's not too much going on. The first big thing that I have to muscle memory my way muscle memory my way out of is not opening up this blue boomerang uh -huh. chest. Because you know, in hundred percent. Because you know, in hundred percent, you don't get the blue boomerang. Uh, uh. All right, we did it. We successfully. All right, we did it. We successfully skipped the boomerang. Yeah, it's one of those where, like, the boomerang, I know, in, like, any percent NMG would have a couple of little niche time savers that you can do. Like, you can, like, grab that key and start moving a little earlier. But for whatever reason in this game, it's a little weird. If you don't get the blue boomerang, then the red boomerang, which is all you actually need to complete the 100% category, is in, like, an easier-to-obtain chest in, like, you know, the, in, like, Kakariko or whatever layer. Uh, yeah, it's available uh, yeah, in, it's available uh, in a house, uh, in, the the house in Village of Outcasts, oh, okay. which is kind of weird, which is kind of weird. Um, um, but yeah, also the, the blue, yeah, also boomerang, the, the if blue boomerang, if you somehow skip it in your normal, play -through, in your normal uh, playthrough, clearing, uh, clearing out Kakariko, you can also find the blue boomerang there in Chicken House. Yeah. yeah. What chest is it put in? Uh, Chicken House. Uh, Chicken House. Mm. Um, and the same, um, similarly, and with the same the similarly with the lamp, the lamp's in three different, different chests in the escape. Just sure make sure that you're not stupid, that you're not stupid and miss it before the, going to the going back to the throne room after Zelda. Zelda. <laughs> um, um, but you know, sometimes we skip. But you know, sometimes we skip it by accident. Happens yeah. to the best of us. I was gonna say you're having to fight a couple different Ooh. instances Ooh. of muscle memory, not opening chests like in randomizer. And uh, not getting the blue boomerang like you would in just most other categories. Yep. Yep. Uh, yeah, the no blue boomerang. Uh, early, yeah, the no blue uh, boomerang early uh, does weird, make some things a little weird. For the but most part, it's, it's for the fine. most part, it's it's fine. The key rat RNG. The, the key rat RNG at the end of escape, the end of escape is a lot more significant than the boomerang. Sure. He either goes right and he either goes right, goes right and you're great, and you or he like goes left seconds. and you lose like three <laughs> seconds. <laughs> just because you have to chase him down. Oh God. Yep. Yeah, so All this, right. Uh, yeah, so All this, right. Uh, oh, sorry, go spike. Oh, no, I was just going to say, oh, no, fictional, gonna say suburb fictional suburb with the $25 oh, donation. Oh, baby. That's our first bean. That's a bean. That's a bean. That's a bean. You want to you you do a spin oh, for me, Spike? Oh, that's actually, oh, sure. I, oh, that's actually a good way to do it. Yeah. Oh baby, all right. Oh baby, Andy, all right, so Andy. I'm so sorry if this is wrong. You're either gonna get a cappuccino, which is like kind of delicious, or liver and onion, which, or is, the and onion, which is the worst bean. Oh in the baby, box. all right. Yeah, that's the little, uh, yeah, that's the little darker one. Let's see. Oh, okay. Oh, text box. All right, here we go. That's not cappuccino. <laughs> 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 mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah, my. <coughs> yeah. All right, perfect. We're off to a great start, everybody. <coughs> God, now this is even better if he PBs. Oh, yeah, dude. Just me throwing up multiple times during my PB run. <laughs> you get like God RNG. <laughs> you get like God RNG. <laughs> oh, God, no. 
first try chess. First try chess. Yeah, first try. Like, yeah, you brought up there's like three like instances of like awful RNG. RNG. I know there's the chess mini game. I know you've got the. Uh, I know you've got the. Uh, 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 the digging. Uh, up uh, the piece. digging up and the heart piece. And is it just yep, blue balls? You just got the ag of blue balls. Ag of blue balling. Ag of blue balling. Shot calling. Skip sank hard. Skip sank hard. I would normally, but I would normally, but you know. Right. Yeah, I think I remember like Yeah, I think I remember like there. actually the being there because the like Sank Heart is like thing, a classic thing in Link to the Past speed like, running up like obviously it takes like five seconds you know, to pick five it up. seconds to pick it up. And you because this game hits you really hard. Especially like in later Especially like in later games. It's like, oh, I want every health, every health I can. And it's the ultimate like once you just kind of reach a point where you're like, I think I'm good. I remember being in a stream when Andy was like, I don't think I need this anymore. And you stop picking it up. Yep. Yep. Now I refuse to pick, it up, I refuse to pick it up ever. Unless Even I somehow, more, unless I somehow, more, right? <laughs> unless I'm like, unless I'm like out half a heart in out of his game, probably. In which case, I probably already reset, reset right. anyways. Right. Yeah, I know a lot of this movement. Yeah, I know a lot of this movement like, also okay. here probably looks like oh, okay, relatively like I guess not necessarily grid based movement like it is in Zelda One. Because like obviously you have like diagonal movement and stuff, but a lot of what Andy's doing is also doing uh, I believe it's a technique called pumping. Um, oh yeah, I'm it's, pumping it's, all over the place. This man's hard pumping. Uh, and it's very specifically, I believe when you are moving either to the north or the west, yep. um, you can basically make it to where Link moves at two pixels every frame instead of alternating two and one. Now, that's a, a super simple layman's term for like how that works and everything. But it all comes to show like, I think over the course of like the early parts of at least any percent NMG, it saves like 10 seconds. Which might sound like trivial, but like in a category this length, like that's and like this optimized, that actually means a lot. Now this is 100 percent so you're probably doing it even more. And it mostly loses its value once you get the Pegasus. Yeah, boots. which is in which is in, in like bit. a couple minutes. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I imagine it actually might be like somewhat more interesting, like I guess more significant in like random play. <laughs> Because a man, uh, a lot of seeds never get the boots, dude. Yep, and then at a certain point, I'm usually just like, yeah, I'm not pumping anymore. <laughs> yeah, I don't care. <laughs> it's not worth it. It's a lot of just mashing the D-pad, which is really oh. annoying. <clears throat> God, Super dude, that... Super interesting roommate. Oh, is that... That yeah, liver and onions is hidden? still in there, dude. It's so bad. Again, gamers, every $25, you can keep making Andy cry. And if you get $5,000, you can enlighten my life to finally know what pomegranate tastes like. <laughs> You've never had pomegranate anything before. Never. I remember my mother, it was like one of her favorite. It, it, is it a vegetable or a fruit? <laughs> it's, it's a, a fruit. fruit. Yeah. I remember her just raw dog eating those like growing up. Well, I, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to like crack them open and eat the seeds on the inside. Yeah, so I hope she wasn't just going. like it was like all <laughs> seeds. Yeah. Like, oh, that looks freaky. <laughs> off of the damage boost. All oh, the back boost off the little swiggly boy. What's the canon name for oh, the yeah. swiggly boys? Ooh, uh Popos. Mm. Little Popos. Yeah, just take a, a whole ass bite out of a pomegranate. No big deal. <laughs> granite, no she big dug deal. Granite, no she big dug Get out of here, little Stalfos. All right. Out of here, little the other thing that is uh, not in my muscle memory anymore is appropriate menus because menus don't exist in A Link to the Past. I was going to say, anymore. is it just kind of the standard everybody plays with, like, what? Is it like L and R that swaps between items? Yeah. yeah. I know, like, I, I feel like I watched you do that enough that when I went to play Link to the Past for SNES Mania that we're doing on our channel, I was like, oh, yeah, you got to pause. <laughs> and sometimes, depending on which random collection of items you have, you're like, oh, menuing to one thing Oh, yeah, is it's awful. so bad. All right. If I miss the Armos quick kill, I'm just going to cut my stream, okay? <laughs> <laughs> it was going to be done. 
I always thought this room was cool. You bait both of them. You hit the left one. The, the way Andy went left, right, right, left, right there kind of allowed both of them to be on just not enough of a cooldown to get both of them. And now he's going to try to get one of those Armos down to down to one health and then pick them off, perfectly setting it up to where, yeah, you completely skip the last phase where the last Armos goes into Giga Chad mode. Nicely done, Andy. That was yep, cool. Giga Chad Armos gets all of his health back because, mm -hmm. you know, that's fair. Yeah, that's great. Um... But yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. What is your favorite? So one thing I love Link to the Past speedruns, and mm -hmm. uh, one of the the coolest parts I think is just all the boss fights. I think pretty much across the board, all the boss fights are very fun to watch done optimally. Do you have a favorite boss? Like when you nail the optimal strat, you're like, yeah, I'm cool. Uh, probably Cold Stare. Mm -hmm. Shoving Cold Stare into a corner and getting a nice double spin to kill him in like three seconds feels real good. And then when it doesn't go real good, uh, yeah. you die, yeah. usually. So, <laughs> well, in any percent, anyways, not in Hundo. Yeah. Yeah, we got we to gotta raid this old dude's back closet now. We need we need money and bombs. Um. Well, mostly we need the bombs. Then we just grab the money because we're uh, already there. Yeah, I imagine 100% there's a fair amount more just stuff you need to collect or you need to spend money on. There's obviously the five. Why are the flippers $500? Why did they make that choice? But it's fine. Yeah. Flippers are 500. You got to um, play like a lot of the mini games number of times, which obviously are random. You don't necessarily know how many chest games and how many uh, digging games you're necessarily going to have to do. Yeah. So we did a we did a glitch there uh, called Spin Speed. Oh, We're yeah. about to do it again. Uh, where we basically make the game put us in a glitch uh, state where we basically that gives us dash speed while us walking state, where we uh, when you touch a set of manual stairs very fast <laughs> one day we'll figure out how to keep that through screen transitions and then this game is going to get pooped on oh uh, yeah oh that's yeah I, it's fun to think about like glitches and tricks that people like theorize could ever be a thing Every once in a while, somebody will be like, I got spin speed in Link's house <laughs> right when I started my game. <laughs> and then it's always been like somebody accidentally holding like speed up while they're uh, <laughs> playing the game or something. Just, I don't know how this happens. I don't even need the boots. This is cracked. You have video? Uh, here's my webcam from my phone <laughs> looking at my computer. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Cool story. <laughs> yep. Yeah, one of the things that also just makes Link to the Past so good, I, I remember like being told the stat years ago, like an RPG limit break, because <laughs> there was a time, there was one RPG limit break. Yo, Link where, to the Past rando limit break? Let's go. Link dude. to the Past <laughs> randomizer, I'm sure you've heard of it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, it was, keep in mind, Link to the Past has never been at a RPG limit break. It's, you know, <laughs> it's it's not in their core set of games. They just, you know, they're not really an RPG action adventure, yada, yada. Everybody in the practice room who should be practicing their RPG runs, everybody's playing Link to the Past randomizer. Every single goddamn person. It was great. But anyway, so uh, I remember someone there telling me the stat that as long as you have to move more than like four tiles or whatever, dashing is faster. Like that's, I think, what's so incredible about the Pegasus boots in this game is you would throw it in in places where you wouldn't think it would save time. No, it... It really is. You want to set up dashes everywhere. Yeah, pretty much. It's like four and a half tiles or something like that. That's what it is. Okay. Oh, um, in most cases, it really depends on like the movement that you're doing after the dash mm -hmm. as well. Uh, why did I? Okay, cool. Brain just turned off. <laughs> Another thing about Link to the Past speedrunning that I also think is incredibly impressive is that there is a ton of you wouldn't think it just enemy movement rng that uh andy and any other runner of this game just like has to walk into a room and just react to and say yep. okay what what do you have to do and you wouldn't think All like you know place. it's oh maybe it's like minor yeah it's it's probably minor rng over the course of two three four hundred rooms that you go through in the course of a speed run that you have to react to that can actually add up to tons of time and knowing like 
the best way to handle any different enemy movement pattern is like an incredible amount of knowledge that you have to have in this game. Yeah, I think like maybe the worst in terms of like specific room enemy RNG you lose is probably like three or four seconds yep. at most. So it's just a lot of like uh, minimizing the amount of time you lose if you don't get perfect RNG. It's pretty much all time. And that's gotten easier over the years too. Just like, oh, if you move this way in a room instead of that way, the RNG doesn't matter anymore. Uh. Uh -huh. A lot of that has happened. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, sure. We just nobody ever thought to like move below something instead of above it because it seemed inefficient. <laughs> but hey, mitigate that RNG, baby. We've got all good. Let you wait for this one until uh, we get this next cutscene after us, because uh, we got oh, one baby. of the hardest, maybe the hardest boss in the game. Unironically, yeah, uh, this is probably one of the more difficult bosses to do consistently. We got Kristen with a $25 donation saying, let's go pug farm. All right, spin it. What are we doing? Spin it for me, daddy. We got here. Eh. Nah, you already did that one. Ugh, this wheel is so bad. Ah, oh, shoot. Just keep fighting them. <laughs> I'll spin it eventually. <clears throat> okay, you're either going to eat a peach or barf. It's like the, the yellowish one with red dots on it. Yeah, so with uh, this boss, you got each of the three land molas. Uh, no. They each have eight health, but... <laughs> uh, but your oh, sword does one fine. damage, the arrows do two. But the way they jump out is random. You gotta really know how to I spawn. I thought he was dead. Him. I wasn't paying attention. Rip. I say he's probably at one HP. So keeping track of all of that is incredibly difficult. Uh, So what am I doing? Peach or barf? Uh, either peach or barf. It's like the yellowish one with red dots on it. They've got, there's like two of them that look There's some of them that look really similar. All right, yeah. well, here we go. You might be eating a dead fish. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Does it taste like a dead fish? Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Like people are like, oh, I think you just got a bad box. I think they're all bad. <laughs> like, all right, we're 0 for 2 gamers. Keep them Ugh. coming, keep them coming. That wasn't even the right bean, and I got dollars. it wrong, dude. Oh, oh, God. Yo, we got a $25 donation from Kuiper Don't Care. Oh, baby. A reminder, Let's go, Kuiper. as Andy mentioned earlier, if we get an additional $1 donation following this one, he will be starting up his first ever DK64 randomizer <laughs> scene. Not the speed run. He will. Andy yep. said that. Totally. Go yep. check the box. Oh no, dude. I messed up. Oh no. Oh, did we forget something? Uh oh, yeah, it'll thing. be fine. I'll get it later. Yeah. I was, I was like, man, say, why probably. did I save so much time with that terrible Lamolas? But yes, I forgot I forgot a heart piece already. I was like, damn, minus 14.7, we're cracked. We're fine. I'll just uh remember to get it later. Alright, anyways, we need another spin, right? Yeah, I'm spinning. <clears throat> Alright. This one is either. All right, it's either strawberry banana smoothie or a dead fish. Just get one of the. Why did they make two that look exactly the same? Just get one of the yellow ones with red dots on it. One Huge. of those. All right, let's try this one. Oh, that's a peach. Yay! Oh, oh. it was a joke. It's not a peach. Oh no! <laughs> That was worse. Maybe that was dead fish. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, the dead fish, I think, is the second worst to the liver. <coughs> it definitely tasted like peach at the beginning. I don't know how it did that. You but... tricked yourself. <laughs> they had me in the first yeah, half. It was, it was my brain. <laughs> don't oh. worry, eventually you'll be like me. You'll be desensitized to how nasty they are. <laughs> I was like, I think I unironically ate like 50 beans yesterday. Oh my God. Nukes ordered me pizza and I was like, I don't need it. <laughs> I'm, I'm full. <laughs> All right. Um, hold on. I need to open a notepad just to make sure I don't forget this heart piece later. I was going to say, chat, let's all do our best to remember the desert heart piece. I'm assuming you'll just get it when you're getting. I'll get like, it when I do Meyer, probably. Shed and everything, yeah. 
Do you want to do it optimally after Meyer? Just wondering. Yeah. Oh uh, no, I would. I need a. I need a health. Uh, health refill. Going into okay. Meyer, so I'd have to grab it before. Which okay. Is whatever. He's out of my way. All right. Now here's the here's the uh, the tech that everybody loves. All right. Let's Normally you would do this heart piece after Hera, but oh baby. Cool. Let's go. Oh, he's All right. back. Oh, oh, I was gonna say, is that not optimal? Oh, it saves like 14 seconds. Oh, it actually is. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. I, didn't, I didn't know if like pathing wise, it's better to just do it later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's sick. Uh -oh. I, say, I, I feel like the only instance of hovering that is faster in like any percent NMG is the last one over the... Uh, oh, are you joking me, bro? Um, go dead rock. Oh, cracked. Let's go. <laughs> One um, of the worst enemies in video game <laughs> history. Yep. Um, yeah, that's cool. That's cool. That has uh, actually more optimal applications than 100%. I don't know if that's like the only one, but. Um, pretty much, yeah. Uh -huh. Um, there is a new route in Palace of Darkness that involves hovering like four different times. That saves a lot of time. <laughs> oh. Uh, but it's super difficult, and I don't care <laughs> i just uh yeah it, it'd be like time save maybe one out of every like 10 attempts maybe uh -huh. time loss every other attempt it's like you can't fall even one of the times yeah you're not really saving time yeah that's interesting is it like something to like because you already bomb boost to the hammer I'd like to see this it'd be, it'd be hovering to the hammer instead and you like wow. open the chest while you're clipped in the railing so that you can void out and go back to the door. Oh. Oh, it's like gigatoxic. Oh yeah, okay. it's 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 awful. <laughs> um. So yeah, I don't mess with that. <laughs> yeah, anyone wondering? I don't know like the exact specifics of it, but yeah, like the hovering right there is something you could specifically do with the Pegasus boots. Where like yep. Andy's like scraping his fingers across. I'm sorry, it's dash and like cancel or whatever over and over again. And if yeah, you ever drop that for more than like a frame, then you fall. Yep. It just, it just has to do with like the game's priority over actions. Dashing has priority over falling. So as long as you don't give the game two frames of no dashing, it uh doesn't recognize you have enough time to fall. Oh baby, <clears throat> gamers, we got a fatty right. that came in. Hold up, wait oh, a minute. Baby. Let me put you oh wait, that was not a fatty. <laughs> That's a fatty pack of beads. That was five different. Okay, well, four different donations right here. Oh First baby, all, yeah, let's go. I love a fatty pack of beans. Yeah, we've got a fifty dollar donation from Arthur. Hey Andy, it's geriatric Arthur Ardbark from the Link to the Past digging game. I'm just putting the quarter heart <laughs> in the first dig. Just for you, BB, if you don't mind. Let's go, dude. If you don't find it, that's your bad. I'll read the rest <laughs> oh, of this after man. we fight Moldorm right here. Moldorm, a, uh, a classic jerk of this game, as uh, he likes to knock you off. As yeah. you see. Mm -hmm. yep. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. From uh, uh, Mellow Yellow 8787, we got $25. Thank you for your sacrifice. $25 from Ray of Light. Diabetes has affected my family for a long time. Our Sorry to hear that, Ray of Light. We appreciate the generosity. <laughs> Ew, he's such Everything's a, fine. Oh, Everything's he's fine. such a jerk waffle. Everything's fine. And $25 from Dr. Drodruski and Andy Run. I'm a little preoccupied, but happy to give to a great charity. Beat diabetes for kids. Good luck. Have fun on the run. Thank you so oh much. Oh, my God. All right. Oh. All right. I, I did a spin, and I got Spike's favorite, pomegranate or old band-aid. Oh mama! Okay, you got this. They had they put all the pomegranates in your box. Nope. <laughs> Dude, this game's BS. I hate it. Um, I'll spin for the next one. No, don't. <laughs> that's an old band-aid. <laughs> that's uh <laughs> We got uh the one that it's got like the red and blue polka dots on it. It's either tutti fruity or stinky socks. Uh, tutti what? fruity or stinky socks. 
Yeah, like the red and blue polka dots. That's toothpaste. Oh, that one. Oh, that one. <laughs> okay. Um, I think it's this one. All right, please There's give God. me something not terrible. His first good bead, please. That's a tutti fruity. Let's go. We did it. I'm telling you, uh, dude, that would actually be really funny by the makers of the of the bean boozle. They were like, <laughs> oh, we're just kidding. We actually put no pomegranates. In. <laughs> we couldn't get the rights to pomegranate, so. Uh, <laughs> The trademark on it was too tough, so we just put all old bandage in there. Yep. <laughs> yeah, dude, the old bandage juice from the grocery store. Dude, I am also very excited. I will actually <laughs> die. <laughs> like, Nukes, like, swapped out the drink. She was like, <laughs> she opens it early and just pours old bandage juice. That's disgusting. All right, let's spin against. You already did 2 We got two more you're on the deck for. Oh, yeah, Boom. let's do it. All right, do another one of those potential dead fish ones, the, the brown one with the red dots. Strawberry, banana smoothie, or dead fish? Oh, thanks, babe. <laughs> I have water now. <laughs> yeah, water saves you. Oh. And a puke bag. Yeah, let's go. And a puke bag. <laughs> Oh, that's bad. All right, whatever. We don't need the extra money. We're fine. Uh, we lost the price pack or whatever. It's yeah, called. it's okay. You don't really need to do it in Hundo since you get the hundred rupees from Sahashala. But um, right. but it's just like backup money. <laughs> yeah, because again, we don't necessarily know how much money Andy's gonna need coming up here in a little bit. So we're just gonna get first um, try chest. First try. Uh, which one am I doing? I already forgot. Uh, just do it here. I actually here's what I think we do. We don't spin the wheel. Close your eyes, grab a bean. And, I'll, and tell, me what, <laughs> tell me what color it is, and I will describe to the chat what it might be. Yep. Oh, baby. All right. Because these um, wheels they give you suck. I'd like they, to complain. They, they do. There's, like, some nicer ones that you can get that, like, the beans come in, like, a nice tin, and the spinner's on the top. Uh-huh. Um, but, yeah, these little, like, cardboard spinners. All right. Here we go. Yeah, put all my fingies up on those beans. All oh, my fingies. Um, we have like a lime green one. Okay, that juicy is either juicy pear or boogie or a booger. Yeah. Give me that boogie. Mm. <laughs> Andy's like, I'd prefer to boogie. That's not a juicy pear. Ah! <laughs> I'm telling you, dude, it's like one in eight beans. I think is the actual ratio. So this all always like looks a little slower, but like the amount of damage output you have, not just from the spin slash, which is already doing like double damage, but then them getting double hit by it. That's what kills both of them quickly as opposed to you having to like chase them down. So that's always a cool yeah, room strat. There's a, there's a faster strat that doesn't use the double spin, but you need sword beams for it. Uh -huh. I took damage. So that's, yes. that was out the window. Sword beams, funny enough, are not like most of the time optimal in this game. Because uh, I forget, do they do the same damage as a regular sword slash or like half damage? They that? do fighter sword damage always. Always fighter sword, yeah. Yep, Which is like fine. Cool like buff. the trade off casually is you're getting a ranged attack, sure. Yeah. But yeah. But sometimes you actually like, you almost like want to take damage so it doesn't override your sword slash if you're up close to something yeah. with the sword beam. <clears throat> oh god dude the we also taste in my mouth is so bad <laughs> um and we have another bean to do right yeah you have one more and then you got another one because anonymously oh baby uh, we had another 50 dollar donation let's go gamers oh, let's so keep it going 43 61 90. uh i want the arrows all right uh bean bean ow uh, I have a, like a, oh, we got another pomegranate old bandage. Dude, I, I really want there to never be a pomegranate in there. Nope. No nope. Old bandage. I swear to God, there is literally in my box, there is one red bean left. I <laughs> ate nine yesterday. 
They were all old man. God, that's, that's nasty, bro. Ultimate troll. They're awful, dude. Ugh. All right, gamers, get your guesses into the chat. How many blue balls is Andy going to see? You see him from zero to what, like 14? 15. Fell, so you get 15. If I'm assuming, 15, have you ever gotten I'm, 15? Uh, Only in practice once. Hmm. I believe there's, it, it was also not like, it was at like in the GDQ practice room in like 2014 or 2015. So there's not even like video proof. It's BS. Right. There's two instances of video proof during a run ever. Uh... And it's already dead. <laughs> Hell yeah. Thank God. 15. Yeah, the way the blue balls work, he always does sets of four balls. Um, the first one he does in the set will always be a good ball. But yep. from there, they're each 50-50. He's got perfect RNG so far. Legitimate yep. shot at a zero blue ball because that's four. He does the lightning. This one will be good, so that's five. And, and then you it's need just to win 50 -50. one of these next three coin flips. All right, there's 0 for 1. Okay. Meh. There's one blue ball. 0 for 2. Oh, Let's he's go. Gonna go two lightning. Don't, don't do it to me, bro. bro. All right, two blue balls. Two blue balls. <clears throat> yeah, I imagine like the break even, you're just kind of fine with the RNG in most cases, is I just don't want to see a second lightning. Yeah, anything less than three is like good. Three mm -hmm. is fine. And then once you get more than that, you're just like, ugh. <laughs> Reset, but the game shut. All right, um, another bean. No bean. Eat it, Yo, baby. Toothpaste or berry blue. All right. This okay, so you will you're yeah. We'll see if you have the same experience I did. <laughs> That's toothpaste. But yep. Which who, who who didn't eat toothpaste as a kid? All right. <laughs> right, like we've all eaten a, probably buckets of toothpaste yep. in, in our lifetime. But like, so it's fine now, right? When it's just up in your teeth. Mm-hmm. He's like, oh, this is like normal. I'm like a human right now. <laughs> but then it's going to go down the throat and you're like, oh, this is awful. Yep. So I think we are, I think Andy has had one good bean in like, and that's not even the good bean. Toothpaste is like the bad bean of that one. Oh, oh, yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we've had we've had eight beans consumed so far, and Andy is one for eight. I'm sticking with my one in eight ratio. I think that's actually <laughs> what it is in a box. You eat a bean out of this box, I don't care what you're spinning. Whew. Hey, yo, what up, Kiki? So yeah, you do hard need 110 cash by this point. So that's like yep. you were saying, I guess completely optimally, you could have not gotten the 100 out of the back of Sahasrila's house. Well, you need the bombs for a heart piece after desert. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. And yeah, so yeah. because you're already back there, that hundred, the 250 chests are faster to get than doing the tree pull stuff that you would do in any percent. Uh-huh. We go into the Palace of Darkness. <clears throat> Which apparently is where we have this new toxic, like, quad hover strat. Yeah, it's not happening. Yeah, that's <laughs> weird. <laughs> I don't even know, like, the proper routing. For right. It, anyways. <clears throat> God. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Again, we asked, uh, Nukes asked everybody who was part yeah, of this event, like, who, this. Want, who wants to play? And uh, of us, I want you to know, I did not say I was okay with it. <laughs> I was just given a box of beans. <laughs> but I've done it before, so like I'm used to old veteran at this point. And uh, of them, otherwise, Void, Andy, and Kelsey, the only ones who were like, sure, why not? Wow. Bunch of babies for charity. Bunch of babies. Kelsey, Kelsey picked the, the hot beans. Oh, you went with this. Oh, okay. So it's not the nasty ones. It's just yeah. you might get something that's like giga spicy. Yep. There's, oh. there's some there's some Carolina Reapers in there. Oh, um, I kind of want to try that. It, it, it like starts at like Sriracha, I think, and goes oh. up to Carolina Reaper with a bunch of stuff in the middle. Well, a bunch. Three in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> um, but Bean 2, Carolina Reaper. It's going to be good. <laughs> Yeah, that spicy actually, should be good. I, I didn't know that's exactly. I re, you you mentioned it at some point. That was the spicy version, but I didn't know it was like. I guess they were pure. I thought maybe they were like nasty and spicy. I don't know, I don't know what it was. 
Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. I was one pixel too low, so we had to. Woo! Little, little safety safety select buffer to the last pixel of movement. Yeah, but we made when it. You're, when, when you're starting off learning that, because that trick saves like 45 seconds, that bomb uh, It's not quite that much. It's like awesome. somewhere between like 22 and 28 or something like oh, that. Okay. So either but way, it's, it's obviously it's, it's a lot a of time. Good. Yeah. That's uh, another one of the big tricks you learn when running this game is that little hammer jump. I think it also saves you like a key you got to pick up or something. Like, uh, you get a different key. Oh, okay. Uh, well, so it's it saves one total key pickup, I guess, because normally you'd have to use a key to get into the big chest room. Mm -hmm. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much all of the time save is not going to the back and getting the small key. <clears throat> that was found in 2013. I was like, that's an old one. Yep. I'm actually, my brain wanted to believe it was even earlier than that. I lose no, track. No, it like, was um. Or no, it it was 2012 because Cipher learned it, it for no. HDQ 2013. Uh huh. Uh -huh. God, the old Cipher GDQ yep. ones. Oh my god. The old Cipher linked to the past GDQ run. Right, right. We're talking. <laughs> We're not talking Mega Man. Retro. Not SMRPG. <laughs> linked to the past. Uh huh. Which, like, a lot of people probably don't even know that Cypher ever, like, speed ran. <laughs> uh -huh. As I probably, like, if if you got into speed running in the last, like, six or seven years, you're probably like, oh, Cypher, he did Mega Man 2, right? Because he'll still, like, once every, like, two or three years come back and be like, yeah. I'll do a Mega Man 2 grind. All right, we got Helmosaur. Another one of the classically pretty difficult bosses. Really easy to just take a lot of damage because Dark World, by the time you get okay. here... Everything just deals minimum two hearts of damage. Yeah, it's not as hard anymore. Uh, somebody found out that if you get spin speed glitch state, it extends your hammer hitbox upwards. Uh huh. So it's uh. Okay. You don't have to well, hug him. Yeah, you used to have to get really close to him to get your hammer hits in, and now it's just pretty free. Yeah. <clears throat> it's still like kind of close, but. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I mean, you saw right there, like, just his movement can be pretty erratic, and he can just be yeah. like, I'm gonna hug you. So. Um, do I owe a bean? This is a nice long cutscene. Uh, you, uh, you know what? Yes, you do. All right, I I'm let's gonna do second decision. You owe, you owe a bean. I don't need to spin. All right, let's, uh... Okay, you just tell me what you, you got, and I'll roll it, baby. I'll, I'll oh, baby. Um, mm -hmm. dead fish or strawberry banana, it looks like. Yeah, Maybe? probably one of those. Maybe, I can't tell. It's or it's peach those, and barf. Yeah, it's <laughs> like I said, they made them. They made them look the same. <laughs> Help! Oh no, he's dying. He's dying. That was definitely the barf. <laughs> and he's like, let me tell you, oh. I know what barf tastes like. That was barf. Yeah, I, Kelsey brought up like eight breath mints. <laughs> He's like, I'm never Ugh. kissing you again. Like, this is over. <laughs> All right. So this is the infamous why nobody speedruns Link to the Past oh, 100% really? seriously <laughs> segment. All right. So we're we're 39 minutes into this speedrun, okay? Right. And, you know, like, this game is relatively execution heavy. Like, lots of really precise movements, blah, 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 blah. So, you know, 40 minutes in is a pretty decent chunk out of, you know, an hour and 45 minutes. Uh -huh. uh, and then the game's like, hey, uh, it's time for this one in three. And if you lose it, you lose 50 seconds per lost. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this is the one game correct. where it's like, if you don't get it first try, you're if you're like going for PBs, you probably reset. Yeah. Um, Literally just a one in stop, three to get to continue. Mm -hmm. Pit stop in here for 300 rupees. My man. <clears throat> we we need that. This game cost 80 rupees to play. Uh for whatever reason. <laughs> um what? 80? it costs 80? Are yep, you it serious? costs 80. <laughs> I never knew it cost 80 dollars. Which like the design of it, you're supposed to get like an amount of that back. Yeah, you do get like, you do get money back. But not 80 back. <laughs> you hope you see a couple You can you can get out. 80 back. You can. Uh, you yeah. 
Yo, that's my boy. That's my boy. <clears throat> All right. Uh, yo, so, who's my boy? The duck. Where the duck at? The duck. All right, we're gonna skip a little little cutscene here by shoveling the flute into the warp. Poor, poor little flute kid doesn't disappear into the into nothing. So for all we know, he's just sitting there perfectly fine, and we'll never know. <laughs> um, but okay, so the way the dig game works is really stupid. Also, okay, uh, you get like thirty in-game seconds to dig up as many holes as you can, right? Uh, the first 24 digs of every dig game have a 0% chance of holding the heart piece. <laughs> and then every dig after the 24th per game, per individual game, have a 1 in 32 chance of having the heart piece. So ideally, you get like 13 to 14 viable heart piece digs it's so per fun. game if you dig well. <laughs> yeah, I was like, if you dig like me, it's like, this is more like a one in six. All right, gamers, let's go. None of these first ones actually matter. But again, like, they actually do matter just in moving optimally. So you can have as many actual shots later yep. on. All right, gamers, we need to raise your hands to the sky. Like, you just don't care or something. Once. You net gained four dollars. <laughs> All right, here we can have some fun with the second one since we didn't get it first try. Uh, it's actually a little bit faster to get sp spin speed if I can get it and uh, <laughs> dig like crazy, but it's really hard to control and do well. Yeah, this looks like a. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I let this kid on PCP just start digging <laughs> today in my garden. <laughs> it does uh, look like you've had a lot more spots. Uh, that was absolutely less, but it's fine. It was okay. <clears throat> it looks pretty sad. You net gained a dollar. I, yeah, I think if you do that one well, you get one extra heart piece chance dig. If you oh, do it's well. okay. So it's, it's not... like not even... It's not even really worth it. <laughs> you have to spend so much time, like, setting up the spin speed, yeah. But hey, trying to stretch out those percentages. Oh. All right, gamers, we're still going. Come on, baby. Mama need a new pair of shoes. Reminder, gamers, <laughs> that we are here raising money for our event, T1 Dot Done, raising money for JDRF, an amazing, amazing charity organization. Nukes put all of this together. We are looking for this heart piece. Oh, I want it so bad. Okay. Um, sorry, I wanted to get invested in that. Um, <laughs> we're trying to get to $10,000 today. We got little milestones at every $1,000 increment that y'all can get us towards. Right now, for every $25 donation you put down, Andy will eat a new bean out of the bean boozled box. So far, the ratio has been great. He's had like one good bean and like 80 awful ones. So yep. keep them coming in, Jack. Keep them coming in. And we are able to reach $5,000. We unlock our first incentive of the day, which will be, I will finally know what it is like to drink actual pomegranate juice. <laughs> because in my Boozle box, I only ever got the old bandages. So that would be sick. We also got stuff like at $6,000. We're going to be giving away our third X rocker headset. Sky Bills. We'll be adding, uh, it's, it's at 6,000, right? It's, yeah, at $6,000, <laughs> Skyles will also add another game to her closer for this event tonight, the Super Mario Brothers All-Star Shuffler. She will add Super Mario World to that. That would be sick. And I'll let you all know, if we're able to get to 7,000, she will add a mystery game to it. What will it be? I'm never going to tell you if we don't reach $7,000, so y'all need to get the donations in. Uh, All right, we're, we're uh, gonna, gonna throw in a, fl uh, a throwback here. The Patty Row. Oh, baby. Patty likes to unoptimally, or liked to, like he's. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Screw you, Patty. Yeah, Patty! <laughs> Couldn't even finish the sentence dunking on God. Patty. <laughs> Patty would uh, lose some time in order to go up one extra row. 
and he so swore he, like he swore stuff. that he was more likely to get it on that upper row. Uh, which, you know, maybe he was right all these years later. Maybe actually <laughs> dogging on him for no reason, dude. Turns out it's just always in that spot. We just never... <laughs> oh, wow, it's all the way there. That's correct. Oh, the timer did pause. Oh, well, don't, don't, don't Yo, complain world about record. it. Let's go, dude. Let's go. <laughs> don't tell anyone. <laughs> dude, that sounds like actually a really good strategy to get world records. I'm going to boot up Mario Odyssey, but just pause the game for like 20 minutes in the middle of the run. Oh, I got to <laughs> see if anybody notices. <laughs> like, wow. Because you know what? Hey, let's, I, I, I'm going to let y'all in on a little trade secret. Uh, people who verify speedruns, <laughs> totally not just me when I would verify them. We watch the beginning and the end. Like, we just make sure like you start yep. and stop it. I watch in the middle of your run. <laughs> You just gotta make sure that they don't catch on to the you submitted a one hour time and your VOD is an hour <laughs> and 20 minutes long. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would never look that close. And definitely the hardest time as a verifier I ever had on speedrun.com was the first two months. I was on there for Super Mario Odyssey. And man, <laughs> this, you know, 80% runs, they'd be like, uh, I got the uh, 1,372nd second time at one hour, 51 minutes and 37 seconds. You're like, bitch, I'm not watching all this. You can't have your position on the leaderboard. I'm sorry. Also, please verify my run within the hour that I submitted or <laughs> <Right>. else. <laughs> Toxicity. All right. So now we do a little, a little collecting before we uh, mm -hmm. go to the, uh, the last large RNG segments. Uh, chess game. So now chess game is really cool. Uh, so uh, there's a lot of code in the game. Like, so there's eight different things you can pull out of chess game. And uh, there's a lot of code built into the game. And it's like, hey, if you get the one rupee in the first chest, you're more like you'll you're more likely to get the uh, 100 rupees in the second chest. If you get the small heart in the first chest, you're more likely to get the heart piece in the second chest. Uh -huh. And so on. Okay. And uh <laughs> Nintendo messed up. There's a bug right at the beginning of all the chess game code that makes it all completely irrelevant. <laughs> and it makes it so that the first chest literally has a 0% chance of having the heart piece in it. Oh my God. I was going to so, say, I've literally never seen you get it on the first so, chest. So, I was so like, all, all the chess game is, is a raw one and eight because there's eight different things you can get from the chess game. Hell yeah. Uh, huge, huge W. Um, <laughs> Good job, Nintendo. 10 out of 10, by the way. This is my favorite CES game so far. <laughs> um, I believe that the, the chess game stuff might be fixed in 1.2. Uh, but I'm not entirely sure. The optimal 1.2 speedruns of Link to the Past. <laughs> Once you get off like 1.0, most of like the, the glitchier tricks that they use are, are gone, I believe. Yeah, pretty much like anything... Anything that's considered like a minor glitch is only doable in 1.0. Pretty much everything else that's not extremely major is gone in 1.1. Yeah. Um. So so yeah, 1.0 is just by far the the definitive speedrun version. <sighs> All right, here we go. I'm glad that uh, the charity stream cannot see my split names for these last two splits. Um, <laughs> I know. I was like, dog, I can't say this split Because <laughs> that the thought of those two split names makes me weirdly nostalgic for 2016 yep. SRL streaming, dude. All right. <laughs> there's there's attempt number one. All right. Um, so this is a little less bad to get bad RNG. You lose like six seconds, eight seconds per attempt and not 50. Um but uh in my one practice run i got 26 chess games so let's go uh, <laughs> yeah one and eight that, that, that about right, makes sense see. all right here's number three no 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 yeah at the very least these attempts are a lot faster yeah than like the dig game yeah this category seems brutal <laughs> It's not right. like, well, the game execution-wise <laughs> is really easy, but, so, you know, it's like, like, once you get it, you're basically done. <laughs> and now, Link to the Past is incredibly freaking difficult. 
Especially you know, five. Yeah, that's five. You get that single arrow two times. Uh, my practice run uh, actually got uh, three blue balls first try dig. That was like on PB pace. And then chess game was like, nah. Nah, you're done. <laughs> Better luck next time, bro. <laughs> <laughs> go home, kid. Yo, double hundies. Let's go. Let's go. Yep, that one and eight, work. just like the beans. Yo, I'll do an honorary bean just for chess game. Hold on. Let's go. Oh, we got a heart piece. Easy. No, that was the, I think that was the eighth try. <laughs> I think you unironically got it on the eighth try. All right, what kind of bean did you pull? Uh, let's see. So this is the chest that has the red boomerang if you don't have oh, the blue okay. boomerang. And if you do have the blue boomerang, it has 300 rupees in it. Uh, Stop the, you know, the trade off. We got juicy pear and booger again. Oh, baby. Yeah, I was looking at the board. I was like the berry blue or toothpaste. I only had toothpaste yesterday. You've had a toothpaste today. Void said he got a berry blue. So unless he doesn't understand <laughs> the concept of toothpaste. Maybe his toothpaste was always like mint berry flavored. Right. <laughs> um, I think that was a pear. I think that was a pear. I didn't want to die while I was eating it. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think my taste buds are so charred. I think that was a pair. <laughs> Again, gamers, you can force that on Andy for a minimum of a $25 redo donation worth $439. Wait, $438.10 away from making me wait. $500. We're $500. We're $600. <laughs> we are $600. This is getting more expensive. We're $1,000 away. <laughs> if you give us like $10,000, I'll drink an entire <laughs> bottle of pomegranate on stream right now and then probably have to go to the bathroom directly after. So, you want to make that happen? Just $10,000. <laughs> One single $10,000 donation. It will make it worth it. So we're six hundred thirty-eight dollars and ten cents. Quick maths away from the pomegranate chug. Let's make it happen. All right. Well, now that all the RNG is done, we get to play the video game, and all of my time loss can be blamed on me. Yeah, well, it's um, all be your fault. <clears throat> oh man. Oh, oh, oh man. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've done Bean Boozled, and I don't uh, miss this taste in my mouth. <laughs> Is there a part of you that's wishing you did the spicy with Kelsey? Um, I am okay with spicy things, so I don't think that one, like, only, like, the Carolina Reaper would have really done anything. Uh -huh. So uh, I wanted it to be more of a show, you know? Yeah, right. I don't want to be like, oh, the habanero. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Andy wanted to suffer for you all. Exactly. I, was gonna say, I bet you Andy can absorb the spice pretty well. I assumed Kelsey probably was okay with the spice as well. Just think about Because, like, I was, like, mildly, I ate spicy things. I guess it was more like I ate mild things the way I said that sentence. But it was when I started dating nukes where she's like, no, nah, just pour molten lava in my mouth. <laughs> then I was like, all right, let's start eating spicy stuff. So we do, like, hot wings nights all the time. Yeah, Kelsey, Kelsey's a little little spicy baby. A little spoozy baby. Well, I'm glad she's going to be doing that while people also spawn, like, 6,000 horses on top of her later today. That's going to be great. All right, blind is a fun fight. This is one of, like, the casual most difficult fights in the game because it seems very random uh -huh. lots of fireballs going around uh but if you kill blinds uh in a very specific way you don't give blind time to do anything really and the fight goes exactly the same pretty much every time yeah for uh, a game with a lot of combat rng in it blind if you do the same thing every time he will do the same thing every time it's great oh cheers to Oh, rinsing my mouth out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's a spit bucket. Ooh, dude, I just want like a good flavor. 
Yeah, just any. Yeah, you've had the one. I don't eat, like, like. I don't even like peaches that, or not peaches, pears. I don't like pears that much. So right. like, pear like me like getting juicy pear is like, eh. <laughs> like it wasn't booger, I guess. Right. <laughs> that, that, that's the benefit of of getting the juicy pear bean. Pear is just one of those. Every time I put it in my mouth, I'm just like, I don't feel anything. I feel like it's just it's just there. It's a very like C yeah. minus tier fruit. Yeah. I don't like most other fruits like make me feel so happy inside. <laughs> make me feel something. All right. So uh link to the past speed runs. Uh if you didn't know, you don't have to do the dungeons in order, like it shows up on the map. It's crazy. Hey, yo. Uh so we do dungeon four uh after Palace of Darkness, Thieves Town. Uh, so that we can get the Tempered Sword as soon as possible. Please, God, do that. Yeah, um, casually, uh, big recommend. Yep. No item dashing. This is Andy just pushing the item button and the dash button on the same frame. And uh, you can do cool stuff like that one. That's like one of the cooler applications yeah. of it. <clears throat> I have thought um, about also doing it into the hard piece there. That's great. But uh, that's a Japanese 1.0 exclusive glitch. Mm -hmm. uh, you can shovel dash, actually, and it digs up all of the holes. But the only dig that actually counts towards anything is the one you stop the dash on. So, uh, oh. so yeah, it just removes... <laughs> uh, it just removes holes <laughs> from the crowd. <laughs> just... <laughs> I was like, that'd be, that would have been, like, super sick if that, like, worked. And you were just like, 12 down, <laughs> 24. Yeah. Dog, I'm getting this thing. Then you'd feel really bad if it didn't give it to you first try. Also, yep. Derby, thank you for the raid. Yo, Welcome, let's go, Derby. For Derby. Hope uh, Super Kaizo Ironmon is treating you well. <laughs> Super Kaizo Ironmon just looks brutal, dude. I, uh, I'm 168 seeds in, I think, and I just got past Brock for the first time. Oh, you got past Brock? See, it looked like, it was like, what if we made Iron Man, but you never get past Brock? Yeah. You're always in the early game. Um, but yeah, Derpy, welcome Raiders. Spike the GM, we are putting on T1 dot done here, charity streaming event. Uh, supporting uh, JDRF, an amazing charity organization, uh, Juvenile Diabetes and Research Foundation. And we are raising money for them uh, while we're also doing some super, super cool speed runs. We got here number eight of 12 of the marathon. We got Andy doing Link to the Past, 100% NMG, about halfway through the run right now. Uh, we clapping that thing as we use the duck. Oh, yeah. We're we up clap. to $4,361.90. Every $25, we will force Andy. He has no choice to eat another most likely disgusting bean. Oh, yeah. We get to 5,000. I'm going to know what pomegranate juice tastes like. <laughs> oh, man. I love pomegranates. Oh, man. I, <laughs> I, I, I used to drink pomegranate juice all the time. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm just but excited. it's also I, I expensive. <laughs> oh, it is. <laughs> the pomegranates are going extinct. They couldn't use too many. Up to the school woods. All right, Skull Woods is great. Dude, my favorite memory of Skull Woods is uh Pi my 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 my, my good pal I H Pi playing this game for the very first time uh -huh. and getting stuck in this room for hours because he didn't realize you could pull statues. He only thought you could push them. Oh. And so he literally just could never get up into this room for the big key. Oh. And it took him <laughs> a very long time that to make it all the way back unfortunate. here. <laughs> that is incredibly unfortunate. Oh, uh, man, I love that, man. That's another nostalgic stream. Pie playing Link to the Past back in like, that was probably like 2015. God, these it things It was are maybe like 2014. Ten, these things are like 10 years old. Yep. Got a nice the little bomb speedy boost, bomb jump there. there you guys is. are old as F. <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did a cool little uh, walk into the pit to get a void out iframe so we could just walk through the little ropa right outside the door. Mm -hmm. <laughs> don't, 
Don't remind me that I'm old. This stream right now is honestly a relic. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know when Nuke showed me the schedule, I was like, Andy's doing 100% NMG. And I was like, this has got to be the first time he's done this in like <laughs> half a decade. No, it hasn't been that long. It's yeah. usually like a run for fun every once in a while. Right. But like not more than like a handful of times a year mm -hmm. at most. But now that I'm doing it, I ha I feel like I, I am legally obligated to PB. This is one of my favorite rooms in the run. Like quickly, like all the, doing all these dashes, navigating around these mummies and everything. Oh, slash. All right, we're fine. Hey. Tried to slash too quickly. Ooh, that was spicy. Oh, I love that little. <laughs> hey, look at you just kind of went zip. And now we've got one of the uh, at least casually more annoying bosses for sure. Uh, we do a, a setup opener to get a double hit right oh. off the bat oh, by very dashing nice. Moth at a specific time. <clears throat> you end up getting a slick double hit. Um, yeah, this is why you get Tempered Sword, really. Mothula and Argus are both significantly faster with Tempered Sword than they are with yeah. Master Sword. And Blind, while technically easier casually, because... You know, you just have more health. Uh, is not actually, it dies to the same amount of hits. It's nine yep. hits no matter what you have. Yep. Gold sword, fighter sword, Samaria, hammer. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Whatever. Nine hits. Doesn't matter. So that's why it makes complete sense to take out blind so you have access to uh, your, your boys, the dwarfs. And then you can cut through this a lot faster. Because I always talk about, I mean, like, you can make the debate, like, Zelda 1 and 2, obviously the only two Zeldas that were out before this one, don't really have, like, a Master Sword. So this is, like, canonically the first Master Sword, I guess, that was, like, released to the public, yada, yada, yada. And it kind of sucks. Yep. <laughs> it is not good. It's, it's like, like it's fine for the first two dungeons in the game, and then it's like, oh, dude, this sword isn't killing anything anymore. <laughs> yep, nothing is dying to my sword. So once you get to the Tempered Sword, this feels like what the master sword is in like other zelda games like yes it kills things pretty quickly it's not the overpowered the you know the the, the butter sword it's not the big goron sword or anything it's just a pretty strong sword i've got oh <laughs> excuse me all right <laughs> this game sucks bruh <laughs> <laughs> I also love how just Pegasus boots when you go dashing with them, it like naturally curves you around curved walls and whatnot. Yeah. Like it's such a good dash mechanically that they built in this. This is the no chat in my SNES Mania, my only 10 so far. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> and I don't think there will be another 10 until Super Metroid in like <laughs> two years on stream. What game are you at now on SNES Mania? Uh, I am on game 92, uh, which is King of the Monsters. It's like a Godzilla wrestling game, basically. <laughs> yeah, let's go. There's the SNES, honestly, I keep saying is like, on average, if you picked a random SNES game, you'll be like, this is fun. This is fine. There's just, you know, it's this <laughs> long gaps in between like the bona fide classics, right? Yep. So there's a little fairy fountain behind that waterfall that we just went past. I was that's say. normally where you get the red boomerang oh, and that's... the red shields. Uh -huh. um, you can also buy the red shield from a shop in the dark world for 500 rupees as well. Um, <laughs> it's just if the you, red if you're shield. Just, if you're just loaded. Yeah, why not? Dude? If, if your mom and dad left you a trust funds, you can afford <laughs> everything in this game. That's actually nuts, dude. But again, here we are. Five hundred dollars for these stupid flippers. This has got to rank as one of the worst rando checks, right? Uh, yeah, it's pretty bad. Because technically, it's fear zero, right? Uh, no, you need a glove or flippers to get up here. Oh, tau, yeah, that's right. That's the only thing that gives you mercy from like. All right, <laughs> step one, go get five hundred dollars. Yeah. Step two, progress. <clears throat> Yo, THQ, though, those Home Alone games, they hit. <laughs> Good old Home Alone, dude. They're not bad. Oh, we got another donation coming in. Oh, Hold baby. On, wait a minute. 
Let me put you back into it. We got two new ones. Rip tire. Rip it through. Do, 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 do. You must rip it. When he comes along and donates, that's real cool of him. That's twenty-five dollars with no comment. Let's spin it. What's he gonna eat? Pick one out. I'll tell you later <laughs> what it could be. Also, Taco Bowl eight with the one hundred dollars. I heard oh, Andy no. likes Bean Boozle, chipping in so he can enjoy himself further. Thank Let's you, Taco go. Bowl. Uh, yo, if we get another hundred dollar donation before I finish Ice Palace, I'll put nine beans in my mouth at the same time. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Gamers, you heard the man. If not, I'll do my five or less than nine during the Ice Palace cutscene. Bro, I am not doing that. <laughs> There'll be some good flavor. There's got there's gotta be at least one good flavor in there if I put nine in my mouth at the same time, okay? There'll be <laughs> so the problem is, yeah, like, at that point, because I would do a lot of, like, okay, I've got three beans. I'm just putting them all in my mouth at once. <laughs> but I put them in that one at a time and just see, like, were any of these? Uh, Andy, I shit you not. <laughs> None of them were good. <laughs> Each time, it was over three, dog. Oh, no. It was pretty bad. It was pretty bad. It pretty bad. But that's right. Don't, like, somewhat mute each other. So, like, you won't know how much you're suffering. <laughs> It's like whenever you did like, I'm sure you did this, when you did like a beer bong back in uh, back in school and whatnot, you know, you go to like parties. Oh my God, he's just hovering over. He doesn't do it. It's fine. That was cool. I love that. Do it again. <clears throat> oh, and then he bonked. Oh, the knockback. It's fun messing with Link's physics in Link to the Past as well, that like he's inherently very like bouncy. You're like smack enemies that bounce them back and whatnot. Your little bonks have good knockback. It's cool. It's cool. I yeah. like it. <sighs> All right. Uh... Normally, we would also get blue mail in this dungeon, but because blue mail gets overwritten by red mail, we don't need it. Don't need it. This is more like, I think a more appropriate name for 100%. This speedrun category specifically would probably be like full inventory. Uh huh. Uh, yeah, because that's anybody wondering, like, well, don't you need the blue, uh, the blue boomerang or, you know, the, the, the blue mail and all that stuff? Like, no. You just, as long as you have the fully upgraded version of it, it's the same rules that like OOT does. As yeah. long as you have the gold gauntlets, you don't need the silver gauntlets. Yeah, because there's like no in-game indication that you got the previous version. Uh, 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 uh $100 from Rip Tire. Do not tempt me. Oh, this man. <laughs> after oh, he baby. finishes clapping those cold All stare right. cheeks. Did we get any other $25 donations in here to it, add to the, the pot? It's the $25 from Rip Tire, the $100 from Taco Bowl, and the $100 from Rip Tire. Here's what I'm going to say. Okay. Just put nine beans in your mouth. All right, perfect. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's get some different flavors in here, shall we? Yeah. Right. Uh, <laughs> nine boogers. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, looks like we got, uh, we got peach and barf, dead fish, strawberry, banana, Two birthday cake or dirty dish water, two juicy pear boogers, and one toothpaste or berry blue. This is gonna be a great combo. Oh my god! All right, here we go. Here you go Bottoms get, up. Get the bucket. Here ready. we go. <laughs> oh. oh, there's a couple fruity ones in there. I can taste them. <laughs> <laughs> See, they battle with each other. It's a Dragon Ball Z battle in your mouth, <laughs> trying to fight back good versus evil, dude. <laughs> okay, there was actually more good ones than bad ones, plus toothpaste. Plus so, toothpaste. So, like, this is fine. <laughs> this is, yeah, I was like, in all honesty, it kind of oh, works easy uh, out of it. I got some dead fish. <laughs> <laughs> The dead fish lingers. You can tell when it tastes like nothing. Like, oh, this is gonna be a dead fish. I don't know why it waits. I... Rip it through. Do, 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 do. I face back. We're good. <laughs> I cannot wait until Kelsey's eating the spicy stuff later. It's gonna be great. Gamers, we are officially within ten thousand dollars of our goal. So throw down ten thousand dollars and we'll be there. All right, so this cave, I have 55 frames of bad movement or else I die. Let's go. Because, yeah, you would think, oh, you have plenty of health. Oh, well, well, yeah, yeah, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, and one health. Cracked. <laughs> Absolutely cracked. 
Gamers, we are now officially actually 400 uh, let's do the math. Four hundred thirteen dollars and ten cents away from me getting to drink that sweet, sweet pomegranate juice. Let's make it happen. Also, gamers, another thing: we have an auction going on. That's right, damn it. What you are we can, auctioning, Spike? You can auction for a date with yours truly, me, Spike Vegeta. Uh, I have been around a long time doing. I love doing tutorial-based stuff uh, in speedrunning, randomizers, and whatnot. So. You can, if you are the highest bidder, if you put an exclamation point auction, you can win a one-on-one -on -one date with me. Uh, if you are the biggest, I think we are drawing for that one on like Tuesday or something, but don't call me on that one. We're drawing it at some <laughs> point in the next few days. And uh, yeah, I can teach you all you want about like a speed run you maybe want to get into that obviously I know. I'm not going to like teach you how to speed run Minecraft or something. I'd be like, I don't know. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, uh, Minecraft, uh, yeah, Minecraft. Uh, a speedrun <laughs> randomizer stuff I can teach you about in any randomizers that I've learned over the years. Or if you just want to like chill in a call with me and just ask me questions for like an hour, you just want to watch an episode of Survivor or something, we can make that happen. You want to do like, hey, maybe we can do like spicy questions. You want to ask me questions while I eat sp spicy wings or something? We can make that happen. It's your coloring book. Paint it as you will. Paint so it. That's right. Not color it. Um, uh, and yeah. What would I do with a one hour date with Spike? Uh, I would buy Spike two forties of Miller High Life. Yo. <laughs> and we would both Edward 40 hands for an hour. Let's go, dude. <laughs> God, that's that actually my, sounds awesome. That, that Can is you my, please go bid? <laughs> <laughs> that is my favorite Twitch clip that exists on the website. Of all time. Uh, Good old SM64 power hour, dude. I think <laughs> randomly, like, ADEF was doing, like, the Elden Ring bingo brawler stuff with people. And he was like, wait, hold up. I got to show everyone this. <laughs> so, like, I would start going into, like, Elden Ring streamer stuff because I was doing all this Elden Ring routing the last month. And they're like, yeah. wait, Spike, were you in, like, a twit? Wait. I was like, son <laughs> of a bucket, dude. <laughs> What has he done? <laughs> so doing all these SM64 damageless runs has also been really fun because I can't get that star in THI without thinking, and my birthday. <laughs> Every time. Dude. Fantastic. God. Dude, yeah, SM64 power hour. That sounds like a great usage of the one-on-one -on -one date. <laughs> you have one hour. <laughs> <laughs> For every star, we get Liddy. Oh, man. Damn, dude, I didn't realize Swamp is this late. Like... Uh, yeah, so normally Swamp would be uh, a little early. It would be before this dungeon, but it would still uh -huh. be late. Because yeah. um, you, you want the hook shot for this dungeon to, like, for optimalness. Oh, sure. Um, but because of uh, the uh, Pyramid Fairy requirements to get Gold Sword and Silver Arrows needs Ice Palace and Misery Mire Crystals. Uh -huh. um, we do Swamp after those two so you can route in the Pyramid Fairy stuff. Uh, oh, interesting. <clears throat> yeah, I can even teach you how to make the best grilled cheese in the world. Oh, God. <laughs> Andy knows what the it amount, like. the, the amount of nasty things I have done for this man for charity. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's a front that I want Andy to come on and do speed runs, dude. <laughs> hey, man, I cooked up some gross stuff. You want to come on my channel? Look at what God, I'm God, what was the soup that I dipped that grilled cheese in? Uh, so the soup was like fine it was the uh i think it was just tomato soup it was just some basic tomato soup but we put no, candy oh corn it was candy it. corn yeah we put candy and corn i i dipped my my quote unquote gr oh sorry grilled quote unquote cheese um <laughs> into the tomato soup and put like six candy corns on top of that grilled cheese <laughs> and took a huge bite and i think me and and like Joey kind of kissed because we shared the same oh, yeah. like no, bite. No, we three-way kissed. Oh yeah, we did three-way kiss. That was great. Yeah, yeah, it was hot. I met Joey right before we did that. Yeah, right. Um, <laughs> hey, what's up, man? You want to make out for charity? <laughs> I just happened to stick the sandwich in between their two mouths. They didn't know that was part of it. <laughs> Candy corn. Oh wine, man. Dude. 
because I got to the point where, like, you know, because Ron was like, oh, yeah, start, like, you know, donation, you know, every X amount donation, add something to it. And I was, like, trying to, like, keep it, like, somewhat salvageable what the food was going to be. Because, like, dog, <laughs> what are you doing? I was like, fine, candy corn. Let's put that on there. Let's just ruin any shot of making this. <laughs> yeah, at first edible. it was like, oh, like, tomato, lettuce, bacon. Uh... <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, nah, dog. Nah. We have to make them suffer. <laughs> Shout outs to everybody who ate any of that or watched any of that. I know ADF was like, I can't be in the room. <laughs> Vile. Coming up All on right. the boss fight right here, we got this dude's got like a million eyes and he's wearing a cool shirt with a lot of eyes on it. Yeah, that's true. I am. We just did a cool uh, little glitch there to uh, yeah, that was cool. uh, skip. Um some switch hits uh by <laughs> making the game have move the fire rod area of effect off of the screen uh i'm not gonna go into the specifics <laughs> yeah i know a lot of it was like kind of like screen wrapping-esque stuff or you know kind of what's happening know, we like we like stored an altitude value and normally yeah. the altitude value would get set to zero by doing stuff in the dungeon but by doing things a certain way that altitude value stays there uh and then so the fire rod ball is like visibly down here but actually it's up here and it hits the switch off screen oh it's very cool oh <sighs> Now, I wonder if we have any clips at least of SRC yeah SRC was not documented that's my fault or maybe at least a clip of a sandwich segment or two. <laughs> How did I lose so much? All right, I got the extra heart piece there. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I so cracked? All so right. So uh, we got one more dungeon, and then we got big collectathon segment before Turtle Rock. Ooh. Yeah, I, like, I think one of the nice things about Link to the Past is that going from any percent to 100% doesn't actually add, like, that much time. It's like 20-ish minutes, it looks like it adds to the run. Yeah. Obviously, a lot of variable <laughs> amount of minutes that it adds <laughs> yeah. to the run. Yes. Yeah, at least with, like, a, a, a game like OT, when you're doing 100%, you know, D Dampy uh, yeah. is a 1 in 10. But right. if you don't, like, reload the screen, which is, like, very slightly faster to do attempts, you're guaranteed to get it on the 14th try or something like that. Right. You know? So for, like, marathon safety, yeah. you could just do that. And that just doesn't exist in A Link to the Past. Yeah. Everything's just like, nope. <laughs> There's no guarantee you're going to get this in any sort of reasonable right. amount of time. Dude, I always think about that for, like, any of these that are like, no, it's truly that kind of random. I think a lot when I'm playing, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories. There's obviously, like, gig RNG. But, like, there's a world it just never lets you go. <laughs> like you're just there yeah. for like realistically, you know, like 45 minutes yeah. and digging game is just like, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I think the worst dig game I've had in any run was probably like 27. Oh. And so that was, that was like, you know, 23 and a half minutes lost to my people. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You are legitimately flying <laughs> overestimate. <laughs> Yeah, one instance that I remember being pretty rough about it, because despite what a lot of people might think about it, the uh, the, the Postman's Heart minigame of Majora's Mask that Majin Phil did, and a lot of people have done a million mm -hmm. attempts of, that is effectively RNG, the way, like, the Japanese version actually handles it. I remember yeah. at a GDQ where he showed off 100% years ago, he legitimately just had to not get that heart piece at one yeah. point. Just the game would not let him have it within, like, and even like unreasonable amount of attempts. <clears throat> no anti fairy skip. Yeah, I messed up my dash. Feels bad. Bruh. All right. So this dungeon, even though we're coming into it uh, extremely late and extremely overgeared, this dungeon still sucks. Jeez. I was gonna say, is it still just like it's like kind of boring for better runners? I imagine it's it's boring. You, you know, you're not going to die in here. There's no risk of dying. All this stuff does a half a heart. 
Yeah, yeah you're but very... like the the movement RNG of a lot of these enemies is so prevalent that you just get like nickeled and dimed the entire yeah. stretch through the dungeon. And it just feels terrible. Yeah, it's kind of the worst. Like, I would almost <clears throat> rather have something that is just like, it's very, it's difficult. It's like interesting in its difficulty, right? It's always a little, little scummy when you run into one of these stretches in a speed run. That's just like, I don't like doing it. And it's kind of crappy how you can lose time. Yep. But alas, here we are. It's part of it. We got it. Here we are. Here we are. We're doing it. But you know what's the one good thing about this dungeon? Every time you walk into this room, all I can think about is, what do I even do? <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> oh, man. That's another great 2015 moment. Yep. This 2015 speedrunning moment brought to you by the retirement home. <laughs> <laughs> this is when we, we break out like the old boys podcast. Yeah. Where we just talk about dumb old boomer shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Back in my day, <laughs> fake flippers was the only glitch in my video game. <laughs> I'll forget everything they found since then is cheap. <laughs> Alright, is that guy gonna be low enough? No. Or high enough. That's fine. That's fine. Back Gary in my day, SM64 record was a 145. God, that's <laughs> that's nuts to think about, dude. I remember like watching Siglemic back today and being like, "Oh my god, this is so cool." <laughs> Maybe a perfect run would be like a 142, right? <laughs> They're working on like a 130, like five or something stupid now. Yep. Although any like 3D game, especially, you're just like, you truly don't know how much faster you can move your character. Yeah. There's a bunch of stuff I remember when like one of the initial tasks came out for SM64. I remember people asked Siglemic in his stream afterwards. They were like, did you learn anything from it? He was like, yeah, it's a bunch of stuff you can't do as a <laughs> yep. human. In the 10 years <laughs> since that statement, many of those tricks are now just done. Uh, yep. People out here doing carpetless and stuff. Gamers be gaming. Uh, people find setups. The community's massive. It's uh, nuts. I don't know why Spike's mic was like three times as loud for that <laughs> one sentence than it has been the entire rest of the run. Oh, what happened? <laughs> oh my god! I, I, I didn't move or anything. You hit a bad button. It's my fault. Oh my I was god. like, "There's no way I did that." <laughs> <laughs> Dude, if oh, I was woke, I'd be like, I didn't do none. <laughs> I didn't do that one. That one, mate. Uh, I'm glad that it wasn't like just me. I'm glad that all of you guys also got the crap scared out of you for five <laughs> seconds. Yeah, that's my favorite room in the game right there. You move a statue, that door opens, but it's not that door. <laughs> yep. Double bag, baby. And then you get lost. <sighs> I can't believe Wokey fell asleep at the control deck and accidentally turned a knob. My oh, man's knobbing. I need... <laughs> Never mind. Uh, <laughs> here, let's leave a donation. Uh, Kelsey donates $50. I said I would get $50 for bad RNG, but I'm thinking the beans are worse. <laughs> let's right. go. That is a post cheese ball boss bean for Andy. Thank you, Kelsey. And Kelsey's going to be later on doing Skyrim crowd control. I believe two runs from now. I think it's Cookies and the Cream and then the Skyrims. And then it's the Undertales. Wow. And then it's the Super Mario Brothers All-Star Shuffler, which you at home can add to with Super Mario World at $6,000 and the mystery game at $7,000. What's the mystery game? You'll literally never find out if we don't get $7,000. I don't want a menu. Oh, 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 oh. Clap it, clap it. All right, there we did a we did a little strat called Zero Cycle Argus. We killed all the puffs before he moved three times and did his puff attack. Oh, Easy peasy. Crap. That fight always looks super cool. So like I said, the boss fight strats, especially in this game, always look super super good. All right, here's what we're gonna do. I got two beans for fifty bucks, so I'm gonna do two cappuccino liver and onion beans, and we're gonna see what happens. Uh, there's no way odds are not in your favor. Oh, uh, I dropped one. Oh, now it's gonna. <laughs> All right, liver and beans with a side of carpet, right here. <laughs> Come poop. Good luck. Oh, dude, they're both liver and onions. Come yeah, on, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
it's like the odds of Ugh. both of them being cappuccino actually impossible. There's probably one cappuccino. Ugh. Again, I'm excited for the spicy ones. I want to, I, I might afterwards be like, hey, honey, can we voluntarily buy a box of the spicy <laughs> ones so I can know? Andy's where I was yesterday, dude. Uh, Next time, whenever I do Bean Boozled again, I'm definitely going to keep a stat sheet. I want to <laughs> let people know, like, this is how often you eat something that's not awful. Because I feel like Andy would agree. I think one in eight is actually accurate. <laughs> Because of my butthole, listen, sometimes your butthole has to cry for charity. What? <laughs> <laughs> I asked if you wanted spicy. Said no because of your butthole. Listen, I love it going <laughs> in, but coming out, my God. <laughs> writing this down, writing this down. It's like you hate to see her go, but love to watch her leave, except backwards and way worse <laughs> good old god remember when that song was popular in high school <laughs> that honky tonk boo donk boo donk <laughs> that was ninth what? grade for me <laughs> what? What? yeah that was, i was probably like a freshman in college you're like three years younger than me i am 34 this year oh you're only oh, okay yeah so you're three years younger than me yeah yeah, yeah. Andy was a little junior high boy when I was a little high school boy. <laughs> Yuck. I heard that song last night. <laughs> really, Violet? God. What channel did he have Delilah on? Delilahs. <laughs> Yo, what up, Pink Bomb? Come with me. All right, we're going to do a little Pink Bomb dupe here. Hey, yo, dupage. Oh, hold up. All right, so if we mirror and hold the diagonal at the zero seconds. Oh, just kidding. We messed up. <laughs> we mirrored a little too late. Um, so we got to go get some more money. But that's fine. Um, oh, did we have another fatty come in? Hold up. Oh, uh -oh. Andy, hold up. Wait uh -oh. a minute. Let me put you back into it. Sir Bright Scales with a $250 oh, donation. No. Oh, That's Andy, he told beans, me to get bro. last week. Time for my revenge. Eat them beans. I would like to just point this out. That we, like, it's just any $25 or more donation. Andy is the one who is making the choice to decide, let's go ahead and uh, go for multiple beans. It's however, however Andy wants to do it. All right, well, so Bright Scales. Go well, well, dude, we, we got to let the, the, the donator uh, <laughs> decide. Do you want me to eat them one by one, or do you want me to just <laughs> shove, shovel them all in? So, Bright Scales, if you're in the chat, what's your preference of torture? There we go. There's the bomb. Yeah, you, you can't dash with the bomb behind you, so it's a yeah. little faster to, to move by uh, setting it up that way and then uh, and then duping the bomb behind you. I know oh. a bomb like wiggles back and forth on its fuse. Wiggle, 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 wiggle yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ, <laughs> one at a time. We're almost at 5K, gamers. We're coming up on it for the... Oh, wait, we must have another donation come in. Everybody shut up. Everybody uh -oh. shut up, including me. Oh my goodness. We've got a $100 donation from Emo Saru. <laughs> oh no. no. I see friends, I donate. I see Andy, I dunk. But as this but as this is for charity, I can't really dunk on him no matter how dysfunctional his colon is. Words on stream <laughs> has literally saved this man by allowing him to monetize poop time like we are saving the people. It's very true. <laughs> Emo, thank you so much. That is at least Two beans for you, Yo, man, Andy. We're $13 Dang. away from 5K. We need Let's $13 heck and go, dude. and 10 cents chat, and then I'm a chug. <laughs> that, Let's go, let dude. Let me know what that old bandage juice tastes like, gamers. I'm All right, Tim. so I have 14 beans. <laughs> oh, my God, he's getting too. So it's just, it's just a handful, dude. He's gonna right, weirdly this, like this is a relatively newish find. Normally, you have to dash into this stone, 
but if you slash to the left or the right or down, and then you press dash while holding upwards, it just insta opens it. Ayo, because it recognizes the up and the dash inputs. He came and in. nobody ever thought of that until like three or four years ago. <laughs> that seems like a pretty mild find. That's funny. That was like, yeah, that was 30 years after the game came out. It's normally if you're holding up and then you press dash, you just grab. So it doesn't register like the dash happening. Uh -huh. And so that's why it works is because you're <laughs> the, the dash input is actually working as intended because you're facing left or you're, you're not facing up, I guess. Uh, all right, I'm just going to do them one at a time. $5,000 has been raised. All right. Uh, while you real quick, do thank you for the thirteen dollars and ten cents. Sorry, Spike. Enjoy Let's your go, bottle dude. of panda juice. All right, I'm gonna go. Wokey, get my face on screen. I'm gonna, I'm gonna chug it. Let's see what it tastes like. I'll be right back. Woo. Get out of here, you silly bird. All right, so this first one that I pulled is strawberry banana or dead fish because you know, <laughs> why would it be anything better? <laughs> nope. <coughs> oh, oh no, I come back to Andy dying. Oh, dead fish. Eh, that's a dead fish. Oh. Yeah, if we if it would make it easier, the run is like kinda close. I can drink this after the run's over. Do uh anybody oh no, I like think my face is on screen. Oh right, gamers, we've got Palm. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. Anti uh oxidant superpower yo i'm gonna get superpowers from this yo let's I did go not dude feel powerful last all right let's chug it let's go god spike is gonna poop later <laughs> oh it's so cold <laughs> it was in the fridge i can't feel anything but i do think it tasted better than the, than the I bandage. hope so. I God. hope it didn't taste anything like an old bandage. Woo! All right. We might have to bring in a host later. Come about the end of <laughs> Off and Sky's run. <laughs> so I can uh, be gone. How was it? Pretty good. All right. We got a, we got a toasted marshmallow or stink bug. Oh, man. <laughs> Can I get a good bean, please? Please, yeah, they don't exist. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Uh, oh, man, it was good. That, that was a tasty juice. It, it honestly just tasted like prune juice, which I've had that before. I don't believe that that's what a stink bug tastes like. I think a stink bug would not taste that bad. <laughs> <laughs> It sneaks. It really does. If you if you've ever had the pleasure of having the stink bug bean from Bean Boozle, at first you're just like, "Hi, huh, I taste nothing." And what I learned after the third stink bug is like, "Oh, that means this is gonna suck in about three <laughs> seconds." <laughs> oh God! No, yeah, you I'll stupid dead rock. Like a little sip left it. God, I maybe right. should have had that closer to room temp because chugging uh, something super cold, man, that brings me back to college. Uh, that's <laughs> rough. All right. What do we got next? Um, I can't tell if this is peach bar for strawberry banana dead fish. Yeah, they all look the same. <laughs> Andy might need his own <laughs> bottle of pop <laughs> to cleanse all the out. God! Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> God. <It's> so bad. <laughs> my my brain is like thinking like they're all tasting fine for like the first bite and then yeah. they just turn into absolute vile. Ah, the bottle menu. Uh. All right, we're fine. Um, oh, the bottle menu so bad. The bottle oh. menu makes me wish that there was just, there was only one bottle. God. Like, I don't need more. 
<laughs> God, dude, this is so terrible. <laughs> We're almost there. Hey, gamers, <sighs> we're not done. We are officially halfway to our $10,000. Let's go, dude. For the event. Let's go. You can keep donating. Andy's probably still got a big old box of beans. Shoot, if he runs out, I've still got beans. I'll eat them. Minimum $25 donation to get him to suffer along with us. And we are now officially $1,000 away from our next two incentives. One being to add, you know, chain chomp suck. Um, one to add uh, Super Mario World to the Super Mario Brothers Shuffler tonight with Sky Bills. And for our third drawing of the X Rocker headset uh, that we'll be doing a drawing for with Let's everybody go, in dude. chat. It's not just for the people who donate, it's for anybody who's in chat. Once we hit that $6,000 increment, we'll put a little hashtag of some sort of variety into the chat. We'll tell you about it when it happens. But we got to make it happen first. So a thousand more dollars, you get a two pack. That'd be sick. Let's make it happen, gamers. Woo! T1 dot done. Coming your way right now. It's been coming your way. It's in your face constantly. It's great. I Where? literally picked a toothpaste and berry blast bean to cleanse my palate. Um. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, that's the thing, at least when you roll the blue one, you're like, well, this can only be so bad. I definitely didn't roll it. I just like picked it. I was like, I no, need to cleanse my palate. This is the palate cleanser. <laughs> All right. Um, so that was number three. Let's see. What do we got? We got uh, pomegranate or old bandage. Oh, man. You and me, baby. Is this the first ever pomegranate? No. <laughs> they do. They don't exist. <laughs> I've got one. You know what? This one's for Andy. I'm eating my last pomegranate. <laughs> Let's just uh, have it. Now that I know what pomegranate tastes like. <laughs> nope. Nope. That's old bandage. I had 10 old bandages in my box. <laughs> Unironically. Zero pomegranates. <sighs> I want to get the Bean Boozled president, Mr. Boozled, on the phone so I can complain. Our boxes are faulty. You never got the right to pomegranates. That's BS. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Boozled. You beaned up, bro. Oh, you beaned up, bro. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. No, I'm not doing that. Fuck that. <laughs> Excuse me, F that. Uh, let's do this one. Uh, toast and Marshmallow. <laughs> That's a marshmallow. Let's go! And he's like third good bean. Thank God. I will say the ones that are good are actually good. <laughs> like, they are tasty when you get them. It's so refreshing. Yep. Yo, another hundo? Let's go, dude. Yo, what was that? What was that? We're cracked. We're jacked. We're stacked. Hold up. Wait a minute. One hundred dollars from Fear Off. Happy to commemorate Andy's Mean Bean Machine. <laughs> Yo, let's go, dude. I love that game. I love that. Is unironically one of my favorite Sonic games. It's so good. <laughs> I remember. I remember. My my dad got it for me, but he had never played it. Uh, and so I was like showing him how to play and I accidentally like 12 comboed on him while I was trying to teach him how to play. <laughs> and yes, and I was like, me. I was like seven. So it was, it was like absolutely not intentional. And then my dad was like, yeah, I don't really want to play this game. <laughs> this sucks. I can't prove to my child that I'm off. Was your dad a gamer? Yes. Yes. My, my dad got my mom into games and then they both got me into games. I was like, and then they both got me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that too, but... Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, That's not, that actually is my word. But yeah, I found um, my dad's Zelda 2 instruction booklet at some point growing up, and it had like 40 pages of notes written in the back. <laughs> so my dad was like all about the games for a while. Bet, bet, bet. All right, bean, bean, 
Birthday cake or dirty dish water? Well, we know how this is gonna go. What was it with the Super Nintendo, and this is with their good games, and 25 minute long explosion sequences? Yeah, I know, right? I, and now, late to the past, I can make fun of MMX2. That was the <laughs> worst effect. <laughs> Unironically, bosses explode how, for 17 seconds. I love how M MMX is like explosions, and then MMX2 was like, it's two, so we gotta double the amount of time. Gotta, <laughs> dude, unironically, the funniest thing Capcom could have ever done was every new X game, they keep multiplying it. You get to MMX8, it's like full minutes, dude. <laughs> it's just, oh, I killed a boss, bathroom break time, hell yeah. Oh, big key and chest 12. Let's do it. All right. <laughs> Let's what's go, our dude. last piece of heart that we get? Uh, this one right here on top of Sky Island. Oh, huh. <sighs> I, was like, oh, I was like, oh, that's like one of those little fun fact toys about a 100% speedrun. What's the last thing you get? Uh, last thing we get is red mail in Ganon's Tower. True. That's true. That's true. That's that's valid, honestly. Blah, 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 oh. blah. All right, I can use this time to have another beat. Why does this keep happening, bro? Why does bar, this... bar, barf peach, dead fish, strawberry yeah, the, banana. The combo, oh, yeah. I always forget that makes you drop all the way down there. It's supposed to be the perspective. The winels. I think I'm getting desensitized because I can't tell which it is. Yup. <laughs> Your mouth gets numb. It does. It still doesn't taste great, but it's not like vomit inducing. Right. But it doesn't taste good. <laughs> you don't totally hate yourself. <laughs> and now we go into, in my opinion, one of the greatest Zelda dungeons <clears throat> ever. Oh, dude, Gans Tower is so good. It's it, it's <laughs> it's so fun in a speed run too because it's like actually difficult. Yeah. Yeah, I think all of the rooms like that, like it is like naturally very much a gauntlet. It's a super well done final challenge of the game. It's got a good mixture of puzzles, of combat you have to overcome. Like a lot of the different items in your inventory get utilized throughout a playthrough of this. I, I think this is one of the greatest dungeons in Zelda history. And you got cool little speedrun strats like boop. You get pegged up. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> you get, you get a lot. I, did, I did get pegged. Yep. He did. Yep, that's what you do. <laughs> and then you don't take damage. It's, it's wild. Pegged up on a Tuesday, dog. Dude, this one doesn't have any dots on it but i'm pretty sure it's the barf <laughs> strawberry banana again uh but there's no red dots on it so maybe it'll be good we got 25 dollars from jobber andy please choose one bean and just destroy it all right you can just demolish uh. it into your mouth uh. Uh. <laughs> uh oh uh oh <coughs> Andy's done a really good job of playing <sighs> through all of this torture. <laughs> <sighs> He's within six minutes of his PB. Oh, I was too far to the left. Poop, fart, poop. I didn't... Oh, for the door. I was like, the fight looked great. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was... Oh, I was too far to the left, so I lost a second in my plus six minutes speed run. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's all right, it's all right. You eating the beans? We having a good time. <laughs> so this is like, I guess the only real difference between any percent and hundred percent is yep, it's you just literally have to come out here to get this. Oh, all that's right. That's red mayo. That's red mayo. All right, we got booger and juicy pear. Hmm. Mm -mm. Hitting. That's a pear. Let's go. I mean, it's pear, so, you know. <laughs> Just boring. Let me feel something. Give me the booger. Ah, oh, duh. 
You know there are people out there who are like, I would actually prefer the nasty one in some cases. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, dude, dude, pear sucks. Boogers though. Hey, yep. Yeah. What's the remaining bean count? There's, there's, there's a lot. I don't know. I'm just eating beans whenever I get a chance. <laughs> Keep in mind, this man has chugged like nine beans at once. Yo, nice Ugh. gas and all that crap. Ruby Hard, thank you for the raid. What's up, gamers? I'm Spike Vegeta, and I am not the guy playing the video games on screen. No, that man oh, that's is me. Andy. <laughs> hey, that's me. Whoa. Um, yeah, we are uh, putting on a charity speedrunning event. Ruby, I know you raided yesterday, but everybody coming in once again. T1 dot done. We're raising money for JDRF. Raising a lot of money, having a good time, doing a lot of speed runs and everything. Andy is in the final moments of Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. 100% no major glitches. And we have just raised... Uh, we've actually cracked $1,000 on just this run, which is super, super cool. In two hours, we've been doing it. $5,125 so far has been raised for the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation. Uh, a charity organization, a wonderful one, and one that means a lot to me and my family. Uh, as Nukes, my wife, she has had to deal with type 1 diabetes her entire life. So, uh, you know, in the search for the cure for type 1 diabetes, all of your dollar dollar dues are going towards that amazing cause. So, heck yeah. We've got lots of other awesome speedruns coming up later today on our second and final day. Coming up right after this, we got Author Blues and Sky Bills coming in to do a little co-op cookies and cream later on. Uh, Kelsey is going to be doing Skyrim. Uh, later on, we got Shay doing Undertale and Sky doing the Super Mario Brothers Shuffler, which at $6,000, you can add Super Mario World to that. So if you got any extra dollars lying around, even if it's just $5 or something, feel free to throw it in. Every little bit helps, truly. <sighs> also, we're eating very nasty beans. Would recommend. <laughs> Lots of great progress in finding a cure for diabetes is made <laughs> thanks to donations and beans. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Boozle, for your contribution. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Boozle. You truly don't know how many of us are grateful for you. Oh, we're doing it. Oh, I can hear the fingies. All right. <clears throat> yeah. <sighs> that's interesting yeah that's not worth the menuing to go to hookshot oh uh, bruh. Uh, bruh. i was too busy thinking about beans <laughs> bruh. all right uh what is this one uh tutti fruity or stinky sock tutti fruity or stinky sock uh. <laughs> <laughs> i think you got the tutti fruity <laughs> yeah. I think my man's tooting. Oh, oh, God. This man still got two with Tutti Fruity in his mouth. Yo, a triple! Oh, I was hot. Oh, yeah, the triple only counts as a double, dude. Two oh, of the balls hit too close together. Like the same yeah. time. <sighs> All right, in honor of Spike. <laughs> I, I'm a granite old bandage. Let's go. I'm just going to... Uh, I have five of these. I'm just going to pound them. Mm. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. Old bandage. <laughs> Old bandage. They don't uh, exist, I promise. Come on. Give me a pomegranate. Uh, I believe in you. I believe, you, box. I believe in you, Bean Boozle Box. I believe in you. So, Wokey definitely knows this, but time is obviously going to be coming up after we transition through the door up here. Andy already threw the first two phases of the fight right there. Now I'm going to start clapping. It is completely random how many times he teleports. I'm so sorry. Oh my God, a pomegranate. Let's go, they it do It does exist. exist. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh my like, All God. All right, we made our one for the year. Now fill it up with dirty socks. Oh. 
Now we go. This is where Andy's going to be doing a torch glitch, maybe? I don't even know if you need it. No, you don't really want torch glitch in Hundo. Uh-huh, because you can just actually silver arrow him. Yeah. Oh, oh. For the double. Let's go. All right. Yo, two pomegranates back to back. So All right. Wow. It's unreal. One more. Andy got all my pomegranates. And done. Ugh. Done. GG's, gamer. Yo, back to back to back pomegranates to end the run. We found them Redeemed. <laughs> GG, gamer. Nice, nice uh, 14 second time. You saved a lot of time on Ganon's Tower and Ganon. Oh, yeah, my PB is so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I actually what? ran out of silver arrows on Ganon, so I had to spin him uh, eight oh, times. Oh, you think. had to do just the any percent yep. strat. Oh, my goodness. Oh. God. All right. Well, GG's, gamer. This was an awesome kickoff to day two of T1.9, oh. uh, raising over $1,000, putting on some super cool looking speed running. Uh, <laughs> And eating a lot of, uh, yeah. How, how was this <sighs> entire experience for you, Andy? Oh, it was great. I love going <clears throat> and then spitting things out of my mouth in between doing things in my speed run. <laughs> <laughs> this man saved oh, like 40 God. seconds on his last two splits while getting dunked <sighs> on by beans. That's great. Um, Andy, tell the people before we jump off to our next run, tell the people where they can find you and what your current like stream projects and stuff are. Oh, we got a uh, twitch.tv slash Andy. Uh, here, I'll type in the chat just for you guys just because, so you know, you guys it. definitely don't know me. Uh, I've never been in this channel before in my life. <laughs> um, uh, but we do a lot of randomizers. We've been doing Iron Mon, Super Metroid, Link to the Past. My 10-year partner anniversary is actually in, like, two weeks. Uh, I have been partnered on this website for too long. Um, <laughs> so we're gonna be doing a bunch of like throwback stuff. <laughs> Mega Man X2 is coming back for a day. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> You're just talking um, but yeah, it should be a good time. But yeah, yeah, thank you all for having me. Thanks for inviting me, Spike. Fun, yeah. fun, fun story. Spike uh, messaged me and Kelsey almost simultaneously with different versions of "What's up, sweet cheeks? Hope you're doing well." And then, like, a four-paragraph copy pasta. <laughs> yeah, that's absolutely... <laughs> Dude, that's the most efficient way to do it. You hit him with the, I love you, baby. What's up? We have this personal connection. And then, uh, blah, blah, throw it in. <laughs> Sound like a bot from there. Uh, yep. Oh, man. But, yeah, thank you all for having me. Shout-outs to uh, you guys for putting this on. Shout-outs to Nukes for putting this all together. Um... Yeah, Spike definitely did not write the paragraphs. It was absolutely new. You could, you could tell. Spike could be like, "Yo, you want to raise some some money for charity with me?" Yeah, that's if you let me do all the talking. <laughs> I was like, "Hey, yo, baby, you want to do this thing?" All right, sick. All, all right, cool. I'll send you the details thirty six hours before we need you. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, thank you guys for having me. Thank you for putting it on. And uh, coming up next, we got Author Blues and Sky Bills, the wonderful duo. Yes. Andy, thank you so much. Come back with more awesome T1. Done gamers. Send you all to the break screen. Everybody throughout the day, make sure to stand up, stretch, hydrate yourselves. If you got dogs, take them outside. I'm going to do that right quick. And we come back. Yep. Author Blues and Sky Bills co op, cookies and cream. You don't want to miss it. Come on back and let's raise some more money for charity. Bye bye. I'm a magic.